And women activists from across Nigeria have demanded justice for a lady who was allegedly killed by Turks, said to be working for the governorship candidate of the Social Democratic Party in Kogi State, Marita Lajaka. The women group other one umbrella says their protests became necessary because it appeared that the gruesome killing of Khadija Tiaya, an all progressive Congress supporter in the Cotton Cafe area of Kogi State, about two months ago might have been swept under the carpet, allegedly because she was not from an influential family. Co-convener women standing together, Periagbi Ekwede, who addressed the press after the protest, says two months after the sad incident, Kajija's killings, killers are still working the street free, adding that nothing had been said about the police investigation into the matter or arrest of the corporates. This protest has become necessary due to the fact that about two months after this innocent poor lady was gone down, by armed thugs allegedly suspected to be thugs in the convoy of the Kogi State SDP candidate, Mr. Moritala Achaka, who, those who killed this lady are still walking the street free as if it's just a goat that has been killed. We cannot have a society where anybody can just take the life of another without consequences. And hereby appeal to the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Kayode Egbeko, to intervene directly to get justice for our murdered sister. Justice to all means her killer being arrested, prosecuted, and sentenced accordingly. All those associated with her killer, no matter how highly placed, should be brought in for questioning with a view to getting the male culprit arrested. We want to make it clear and loud that we will not stop until justice is served on this matter. Khadija was a Nigerian. She had three little children. She cannot be allowed to be killed anyhow without anyone paying for the crime.